breaking news. Darvin Ham of the Los Angeles Lakers have been fired. And the Lakers are searching for some candidates to replace him after he got fired today. Now, the Lakers were 90-74 and with him. Not a bad record. And they did decent in the playoffs last year with him coaching. All the way up to the Western Conference Finals even. But this year... Falling against the Nuggets in five and in the games, he was definitely out coach. In the fourth quarter, the players just couldn't seem to like stop the Nuggets offense and they always choked their lead in the second half. So Diverham, although not that good of a coach, he's not really that bad, but he's really good at being the lead assistant coach, but not the main head coach. And some other teams might actually be interested in Darvin Ham, like the Hornets and the Wizards. But as of now, Ham is going to be gone from the Lakers, which many Lakers fans like. And there might be some better coaching players, I mean coaching coaches inside free agency that will help them. The candidates right now for the Lakers are Mike Budenhoser, who is a 2021 NBA champion coach. And although, you know, he is not that good in the playoffs besides the 2021 run, he could be a decent uh, coach, pretty veteran coach too. So, But another one is Kenny Atkinson, who is a great youth development coach and right now is an assistant for the Golden State Warriors, was the coach for the Brooklyn Nets in the 2019 season where they surprisingly made the playoffs with D'Angelo Russell. So... You know, the D'Lo and Atkinson connection will be back. And then another one which is a little bit surprising, but not really at the same time, is J.J. Redick, who has a podcast with LeBron. And to be honest, I would not want the Lakers to get J.J. because he doesn't have as big of experience. Like, maybe get him as an assistant, but not the head coach immediately. And if they do get him, it's just because LeBron... Get someone that he trusts and he likes his IQ and stuff. Like, he didn't really trust Ham, especially in the Clippers game where they just changed the whole game plan. The players did, and Darvin Ham wasn't really in for the change. So, LeBron likes JJ Reddick as a coach. That might be some. Reason as why JJ is a candidate, but I believe they won't get him because of his experience. Then there is Ty Lu, but the Clippers will probably give him an extension. So unless the Lakers want to trade for Ty Lu, they will not be able to get Ty Lu as their head coach. And then the last one is Charles Lee, who is the lead assistant coach for the Boston Celtics, has been like rumored for many other organizations to become a head coach. And he has been really good. Before, I believe he was Bucks assistant or something like that. But now he's a Celtics. And, you know, the Celtics are one of the best teams in the league. So I feel like they should get Charles Lee, the Lakers, or um, Mike Budenhoser for his experience. Kenny Atkinson would be a decent choice, but I feel like Atkinson hasn't proven himself to be a head coach that can win a championship. And then Ty Lue, of course, would be the best option, but no way they get him. Basically, all of this is gearing towards LeBron James, as he is a free agent, probably going to be a free agent for the first time since 2018, and they definitely want to get the best coach that he wants. So LeBron can come back to the organization. However, um, LeBron coaches and LA coaches have not lasted long at all. Ham had only lasted two years. And then their previous coach, Frank Vogel, who won a championship with them, only lasted like two or three as well. And then before that, Luke Walton and a lot of random coaches. So Lakers coaches do not have a long tenure in the league, for the Lakers at least. But, yeah, is it Darvin Ham's problem or the Lakers' problem? Comment down below, and thank you guys for watching. We're out.